Here is a brief tutorial on how to use the whiteboard when using Rock Out Loud Live. If you're using a Mac, there are a couple of steps you have to take before you begin. Go to your system preferences and select security and privacy. You need to be sure that you're sharing your screen by going to screen recording, selecting Google Chrome. If it is not checked, you'll have to check it and you'll be prompted to quit Google Chrome and restart it. The second step is going into your trackpad or your mouse depending on what you use. Selecting the trackpad, you want to be sure the secondary click is checked. And you also want to make sure click in bottom right corner is selected. Once that's done, you can go back to Rock Out Loud Live. In Rock Out Loud Live, the WB stands for whiteboard and is available for paid subscribers only. By selecting the WB, you have three options. You can share your entire screen, application window, or Chrome tab. You do not want to use share your entire screen. You can select either application window or Google Chrome tab. You can select it by selecting the tab. You'll get a blue box around there and hit share. When you go to your Chrome tab, you must select the Chrome tab and hit share. Once you're sharing the whiteboard, your student will see everything that you do in your whiteboard. Your toolbar has a group of many things that you can do. You have the pencil, musical notes, treble clef and bass clef, as well as guitar tablature, bass tablature and ukulele tablature, a piano, blank guitar card, chords, blank ukulele chord chart, eraser tool, text tool for notes. You can also add images like bitmaps and PNG files, as well as JPEGs. You can select the PDF and import any PDF you'd like. You have shapes like circles and rectangles, undo, redo, and a trash can to clear your board. We also offer the option to save everything you do on the whiteboard. So if you wanted to teach the circle of fifths, you would select your treble clef. By moving this up here, you can move it anywhere you'd like. I am now going to go into my musical notes and select it. By selecting my music note, I have the ability to right click inside of my whiteboard and have options to select anything here. By left clicking the shop, it then brings it up into the whiteboard and I can place it anywhere I'd like on the staff. If I was teaching the circle of fifths, I might want to do this with my student and ask them to tell me what the next shop and where it goes. As you can see, you can place them any way you want and they're in direct proportion to the staff. I'll stop at the key of A major and now present to you an A major scale. You can do this a number of ways. I like to select my piano. By adding the piano, I can pull the piano up and actually notate in a major scale. You can select the pencil. I like to select the thickness of about 28 and select the color red because red stands out. When I'm done, I'll hit the done button. I can now notate everything inside this piano and teach an A major scale by simply placing dots on the piano keys. When I'm done, I can select Save Whiteboard. When you save the whiteboard, it creates a PDF and then we'll open it for you so you can upload it to your students along with all the notes. You can also clear the whiteboard by selecting the trash can. If you'd like to upload a PDF and notate on your music, you can do that as well. Select PDF will bring you to your local computer's hard drive. Here's an example of how I would import something in my own instructional book. This happens to be a page that I scanned, and as you know with whiteboards, it's only what you see. By dragging the PDF, you will see these pink dots. Those pink dots, when selected, will allow you to minimize and maximize your PDF and place your PDF any way you'd like on the screen. As you know, you cannot scroll when you're in a whiteboard. It's not the nature of whiteboards. It's only what you see. Then you can select your pencil and you may want to choose a thinner line. When you're done, you can hit done and you can underline, circle, and notate any, anything you'd like inside the PDF. You can also undo if you'd like. If you'd like to add student notes, select the text button. The text button will allow you to place notes anywhere you'd like in the whiteboard. When you're done, you can simply select Save Whiteboard. That's a brief tutorial on how to use the whiteboard.
be sure when you're done with the whiteboard, you must hit the stop sharing. Stop sharing will stop sharing the screen with your student. You can then clear the whiteboard by selecting the garbage can and then exiting, it, exiting the light whiteboard by selecting that black X. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please email us at support at rockoutloud.com if you have any questions. Thank you.